It matters where you buy bundles. Paxify. Hello everyone. Welcome to another State of Survival episode at Wacko Rush Gaming. No sooner we complimented State of Survival for their improved communication, they've reverted back to the bad behaviors with zero communication. The Thanksgiving event has been released in several test states. For all the other states older than two weeks, the event warm-up stage is expected to commence from the 21st of November. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you your very first sneak peek on this event. I've added chapters, so feel free to jump to the sections that is most appropriate for you. If you find my videos helpful, do smash that subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. The Thanksgiving event is going to turkey its way to your screen very soon. It looks like State of Survival has changed their pattern. This is another multi-state skin event between six states. From the cozy Thanksgiving event page, we can see the Thanksgiving event will consist of five separate sub-events. Without any further delays, let's jump into the lights and color event page. This event is now a permanent feature during skin events. Survivors have 16 tasks to accomplish across the next 7 days. Here, as survivors complete the task on hand, you will unlock the numbers needed to connect the circuits in order to collect the relevant rewards. When you click on the rewards, you will get clues on the task you need to accomplish to unlock the rewards. There are two main rewards in this event. Firstly, are the seasoning which is the main currency needed to win the coveted Turkey Bunker HQ skin. Here, there are 320 seasoning collected. The second rewards that has caught my eye are the Rhythm Paradise Statue Surprise Chest. Every 15 of these will guarantee you one candy statue permit, of which there are two chests to be collected. Then, should survivors connect all the circuits, you will get rewards of a turkey dinner decoration building, 100 seasonings, 6 rhythm paradise statue surprise chests, and 1000 biocaps. That means by completing all the tasks in the light and colors event, you will stand to receive 420 seasoning, 8 rhythm paradise statue surprise chests as the main rewards. The turkey dinner decoration, when max, will give you a boost of 5% research speed and 5% construction speed, but similar to previous events, there are no opportunity to get more of these decorations to upgrade it. The seasoning that you're collecting will be used to roast your turkey. The more seasoning you have, the more likely you are to rank high in the event. I'll be honest and I'll tell you that this is a spenders event. Free to play and low spenders unless you have saved a huge amount of bio caps and speed up to drop during this event, it is going to be extremely tough. For those state that has gone through state merger, it is also going to be extremely challenging to get into the top 10 rank as this is a battle between 6 states. The top 6 overall event rank survivors will receive the Flaming Wings HQ Guardian skin with a 5% lethality buff and 5% health buff for 30 days. The next 7th to the 60th rank survivors will receive the Turkey Bunker HQ skin with 2% of troop attack. Separately, the rewards in the Epic Crate and Legendary Crate is good value for money. I would definitely recommend these especially if you want some plasma cores as these are always a good bang for your buck. Hidden in the Epic Crate is the Meowster Chef building decoration when maxed will boost troop march capacity by 1200 4% troop attack and 4% troop defense. But yet again, similar to the Halloween Bat Pup, there isn't any information as how to collect more of these. If you're a spender trying to chase the HQ skin, then you're most likely going to have to buy the Chef's Thanksgiving Feast Bundles. For £3.69 bundle, it will give you the Harvest Season Frame, some Seasoning, some Behemoth Cells, some Speed Ups and some Plasma Cores. With the release of many new features and the monthly skin events, I bet this has been heavy on all your wallets. This is where Paxify comes in to help you to reduce the burden on your wallet. Trusted by many top players in State of Survival, receiving hundreds of positive feedback. If you're struggling to hammer your opponents down but don't want to sell your liver to grow stronger, then Paxify is the answer. Paxify will help you reduce the burden on your wallet as you'll be spending less monies than ever before. Paxify will offer Survivor the best possible discounts out there. Depending on your country, you can see savings between 10% to 25%. If you like the sound of this, then check out the link in the description below. If you're worried about the safety of your account details, then bind your account to Fund Plus, and you'll never lose access to your account because it can never be unwound. 
find it. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description below and start growing with Paxify while saving yourself a bucket loads of monies. Now for the most anticipated new event is Shoots and Splatters. This event will only last for the first 3 days. I've played a similar concept in War and Order. The concept of this event is pretty simple. You have a daily cap on your challenge attempt shared between normal and hard settings. The rewards vary depending on the difficulty selected. If you're a low to mid level player, please stick with normal difficulty level. If you're a mid to max player, then hard difficulty setting may be more appropriate due to the fact that you'll get more rewards. Only one march can be deployed at any one challenge attempt and this, selecting your best march is going to serve you best. I was informed that there was 20 levels to accomplish with the crates rewards associated to the amount of levels you've accomplished. I will make a separate video on this with my hints and tips so keep a lookout for it. Next let's take a look at the Harvest Feast event page. This event should be extremely familiar with the survivors community. It will be like the survival of the fittest event over 7 days. There is always the opportunity for triple yummy rewards. Many of you will have the crossover of the survival of the fittest or this SVS preparation stage whilst the text giving event is running. As a special tips from this gorilla, I suggest that you just do the bare minimum to obtain all the rewards in the Harvest Feast event. This will ensure that you get extremely favourable rankings in both the Survival of the Fittest event or the SVS preparation stage which is ultimately going to affect your Migo ranking. Now please be aware that developers can change the stages of the event so keep a watch out for this. Then we move on to the New Flavors event page. Another familiar event for the survivors community where you will earn seasoning by spending bio caps, speed ups, killing infected, gathering resources in the wilderness, collecting resources in your settlement and finally explore. These are reset daily except for spending bio caps and speed ups which are typically unlimited. Finally, if you're feeling in a good mood, you may like to grab yourself the beautiful Harvest March skin. You need to purchase 7,500 bio caps worth of colleague flying top ups across the 5 days. March skins are pretty useless in state of survival, so unless you want some pretty cosmetic March skin, then play smart and don't buy more than what you need. Now there are also 10 Rhythm Paradise surprise chests for folks to collect across the 5 days. Don't forget, the recycling centre will also be unlocked in full. So if you want to know more about the tips and tricks surrounding the recycling centre, please feel free to watch my video in the link above or alternatively I've added the link in the description below. I will release my triple yummy event guide for this event closer to the time to ensure the developers hasn't changed or mixed up the harvest feast event stages which they tend to do frequently to keep this gorilla busy. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please smack on the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.